Okay. Let's deal with them. Hello guys, welcome to the Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. So in the last part, we stole an oil wagon for John's plan to rob a train. The information was provided to us by one of the cam girls when we first visited Valentine, if you guys remember from previous parts. So John decided to move in on that train. So we are planning to block the tracks by using oil wagon so that the train has to stop. And then we are planning to rob it. So let's see how that goes. For now, let's see what Abigail has for us. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's um, spend some time with the little boy. Should has had a rough days. Let's cheer him up a little bit. There he is, playing in the dirt. <laughs> playing in the trees, not dirt. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Nice, enthusiastic kid. I'll mount up and lift you okay, he has a custom there. fishing pole. Nice. Great. Climb on, boy. <laughs> Alright, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where. Let's Arthur? keep a weapon with us, just in case. We have a fishing rod too. First, oh, convertible rod, nice. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. 
Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you got to be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. There we go. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I want to get lost, boy. The fishing is quite easy in this game, right now at least. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. We have to continue fishing. Okay. Fishing show is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, <laughs> try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There! Got him! For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, he 
that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong. Aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. We have to be careful now. I don't like it here anymore. We have to tell this to Dutch for sure. Can we go now, please? Because the law is looking for us is a grave concern right now. We don't want any holes in our bag. Not at this point. We are just getting up back on our feet. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. <laughs> Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Yeah, we got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and. Uh, I don't remember the other fellow's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. That's the point. But we better be careful, man. They could come here with an entire battalion for us. That is that is a possibility. They may come for us with a bloody battalion to hunt us down. 
In any case, we have to be ready for everything. I think John's mission is available, so I think we are good to go on the train he was talking about. Oh, come on, man. What? Seriously? I was not prepared for that, man. I thought we could take them easily, just like we did last part. But I guess we were the wrong timing. The first time I tried to activate Dead Eye, it brought up the weapon wheel. Oh my god, we lost $16 we got out of the assholes. I think when you die, <laughs> our bounty should reset actually. Yeah. Ideally. Because if you are dead, that will be too easy now. I think. Let's just get down from this mountain and get to our oil cart parked twice. We should be more careful with gang members from next time. We cannot take them lightly. We have to find a better cover first before starting to attack them. Because we can't attack like this in open. So there is the marker for John. Let's remove our marker, shall we? What's the plan, John? <laughs> John. Ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks. And your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yo, yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, huh? Grow up. <laughs> let me come we on are pro, man. Just... Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know you are threatened by me. Threatened by you. Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, 
The fading of the light, you're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Ah, yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <laughs> Better rest up. Oh, it's night already. Come wake on, wake up. <laughs> John must be waiting for us. Coming, yeah, he's John. here already. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am, and it's his party, boy. So come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Trains due through tonight. All right then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Oh, yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. We'll never get there at this pace. Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but you can still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picked up a new team of guards in the state line, so it shouldn't be too much in the way of guns. Let's bring our studio with us. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Some running as well. Just the action that requires a break. <laughs> You're a funny fella, John Marston. What folks say? Eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. So, anyway, that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing him. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> Are you trying to kill those horses? You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine! Damn you three! Sulky, angry, scarface! A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. Charitable donations. Very funny. Car. Okay, we are here. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's get, get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Right. Yes, he's right. We are just here for the money. Yeah. We don't Mr. want to kill innocent people. Mr. Smith, Mr. We just kill the bad guys. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Oh. Here she comes. That's a badass move. What's going on here? What's going on? Ah! Ah! Nothing good. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go hey, on! Get on there! Boss, 
Master. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. You better stop shooting bullets, man. I think we are just wasting bullets right now. Okay. Let's check on Sean. <laughs> That's what you call a pro boy. What the fuck? Nice shot. Oh my god. Almost got killed there, man. You have to be careful now. Better be some valuables in here. Small jewelry bag, nice. Let you know what. Great. One more item to go. Okay, let's drop some cigars. Oh, in that case, we're fighting. Marshal Smith, get ready. I mean, come off the train now, 
Now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more to torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. He won't tell you. I want to hear shots. Let's hear a shot. Come on, oh my god, our horse is fleeing away from us. Horse, come on man, don't do this to us, come on. The horse was fleeing from us when we needed him the most. What was that about? The circle is moving with us. What? That was easy. Whoa! Ho, ho. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut sure. <laughs> up. Uh, please, we make some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> yeah. We still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't you follow. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Mission complete. Nice. Okay, now this area is under lockdown. So let's see, okay we are near the camp already. So let's head to the camp. Archaeologist. In life. Really? Laughed at? Balderdash? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation and not one university will hire me because unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course big they're lizards. real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? 
This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <coughs> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> okay, we are. Uh, we have to find dinosaur bones now. So we are another colleges now. Nice addition to Rockstar. The side quests are really interesting in this game. Hello Bill, our personal security guard. <laughs> Not personal, camp's security guard. Let's switch our house, right over here. Okay, so that's that. Alright guys, so let's stop here for this part. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, share the video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.